This is the Weber Kettle Performer Premium 22-inch charcoal grill, and it has a few features that make it a pretty compelling buy. That said, you can totally make the same food on this grill as you can on the Weber Kettle Original, but you give up some of the creature comforts and conveniences that you get with this higher-end grill. This grill is essentially a Weber Master Touch 22-inch kettle that's attached to a large cart. And if you look on the bottom of the grill, you can see the vestiges where the legs on other kettles would be. It has a thermometer in the lid, which I think is essential if you aren't using an external thermometer to monitor your cooks. That lets you know when it's time to put your food on and also gives you a sense of how hot you're cooking, so that way you can cook your food to perfection every time. If we turn the grill around, we can see that this grill has a plastic stay cool handle on the vent. That makes it really convenient because you don't need gloves in order to change your temperatures like you do on some of the lower end grills. And I didn't realize how important that was until I tried to use one that didn't have it and it got pretty hot. If you take off the lid and put it in the lid bale, you'll notice that it stands straight up and down, which is super convenient because it gives you full access to the grilling surface. Older models did not stand straight up and they would lean forward just a little bit over the grill and that made it a little bit harder to work with. Inside the grill, we can see the high-end hinge cooking grates that make it really easy to reload charcoal without removing your food on the grill. The center section of the grill grates is removable, which is really nice if you like to have a big fire in the center of your grill and have your food going around the outside, which is pretty common with wings. That makes it possible so that way you don't burn through your grill grates because there's no grill grate there. Weber also sells a bunch of accessories like pizza stones, woks, and sear grates that go right here in the center and are made to fit right there. That said, these grill grates are not my favorite. That center section falls out really easily if you take the grill grates and hold them vertically, which happens pretty frequently when you take them off of the kettle. But they are a lot thicker and they're gonna last longer than say the thinner grates that come with the other Weber kettles. One feature that's unique to the Performer is they have this little slot in the back of the grill. That's the spot where you can take your grates and hang them there rather than putting them on the ground. On the other kettles, they have a spot on the handle or you hang them off the side of the kettle itself. The grill comes with two Weber charcoal baskets, which makes it really easy to keep your lit charcoal in different configurations if you're doing anything from searing all the way down to low and slow. It also has the one-touch cleaning system, which helps clear out the ash from the inside of the kettle and then drops down into the ash pan below. And that is a must-have upgrade because it helps contain all of that ash and keeps it from making a mess. It's also really convenient to be able to throw it away anytime you need to. Let's get into some of the Weber Performer specific features. One of the things that you'll notice, it has this big cart and underneath it is this black bin. And that is for storing an entire bag of charcoal. It makes it really easy because it's right there at your grill and it protects it from the elements, so it keeps it nice and dry. On the bottom of the cart is a wire rack, which you can use for some extra storage space for things that either don't fit on top or that you don't use all the time. That's a great place for things like serving trays so you can pull them out right as you're ready to serve. And don't forget about the hooks to hang all of your grilling accoutrements as well as a timer that you can use to keep track of your cooks and how long you have left. I'll probably never use that feature, but if Weber is listening, you could replace that with a smart grilling hub so that way I can keep track of my temperatures remotely. And that's a feature that most people really want over a timer that I could just use on my cell phone. This grill is the premium model of the Performer and it's missing one feature that comes in the deluxe version of it. And that is the touch and go propane ignition system. That makes it possible so that way you have a little propane assist to light your charcoal so you don't have to mess with fire starters or charcoal chimneys if you don't want to. And as I'm making this video, it's about a $40 upgrade for that, and that is well worth the cost, and it is something that people really look for when they go and get a Performer. And if you're tall, consider upgrading to the Performer because it stands just a little bit taller. It's nearly two inches taller than the Master Touch, which is a few inches taller than both the Premium and Original standalone kettles. That means you don't have to hunch over your food or to try to get into the shot for the camera. But for me, the most compelling feature of the Performer is this giant work surface on the top of the cart. Some of the older models had a composite surface, which was known to crack with heat and with age, but this one's made out of metal, so you know you can put hot food on it and it's gonna last a really long time. And this one feature makes it all worthwhile because when I'm grilling on my regular kettle, I end up taking my food and setting it on the gas grill or on a chair, and it's really convenient to be able to have a spot right next to the grill where you don't have to worry about spilling anything when you try to get your food on it. So if you're looking to buy a Performer, but you don't wanna pay full price, you've got two main options. And the first is to look at your local classifieds, because a lot of people may not know what they have, or they're trying to make a quick sale, and you can get a good deal. In fact, I got this one new in the box for about the third of the price of retail. And the second option is to look for end of season sales. A lot of places don't want to store these for the winter, and so they'll sell them at a discount to be able to clear out the floor space. 
And if you'd rather get a Weber kettle that's a standalone instead of the Performer, I made a video that goes over the original, premium, and Weber Master Touch so you can tell the difference.